Good day everyone. My name is Marvin J. Ibatagin. So today, I will discuss the modular design, physical development of infants and toddlers. But I will focus more in cephalocodal pattern and proximal distal pattern and also discuss the concept of height and weight. So there are major principles of human development which are cephalocodal pattern and proximal distal pattern. So but before that, let me state the objective or of this topic. So first is to know the difference between cephalocodal pattern and proximal distal pattern. The second is what are the some factors that affect the baby's height and weight. And lastly, to learn the, pan, the to learn the concept of height and weight. So let's define what is physical development of infant and toddlers. So physical development refers to biological change that children undergo as they age. It includes of physical and brain change, development of reflexes, motor skills, sensation, perception, learning skills, and health issues. So, infant refers to a baby, a young child that can neither walk nor talk. It is an early stage of the development, or just a beginning. Toddlers means refers to a young child who is learning walking, learning to walk. We tend to wonder how infants develop their body since we are focusing here in physical. So these two, these two trend, or we can call, we can also call pattern, help us to know the proper growth of a human body. The first is if how look adult patterns. So it is a postnatal growth from conception to five months when the head grows more than any part of the body. So if we say postnatal, it means after birth of the baby. So conception means when the sperm cell and egg cell collide together and form a new organism, which is baby. So the development starts from paglilihi of a woman to after birth and it will end if a baby becomes 5 months old. Paglilihi is of Tagalog word of conception. It is very important to give more attention to a woman if she is pregnant for 9 months because it is part of the process. And the pattern of this is from the top to bottom the body for example from head neck shoulder arms arms and hips and so on so we all know and we already have seen if a baby move outside of the womb of a mother we typically see a baby with a big head the movement of the pattern starts from head down to two so i already said this earlier as we look at the picture it illustrates the changes of the body so it's not only applied after birth, it also works in the inside of the womb. A two-month fetus has a big head compared to other ages. Usually, if a mother gives birth, the head must be first be pulled because it's a large and stiff part of the, the infant body. As time goes by, the shape of the body becomes balanced. It gradually changes throughout day by day, so gradually means slowly, slowly process. The infant learns to use their upper limbs before their lower limbs. Limbs means legs or arms of a human. Upper limbs represent the arms and the lower limbs represent the legs. Why infant not learn their upper limbs first and not the lower limbs? I stated earlier, infant are just a baby that cannot walk. So they usually laying on their bed, they didn't know how to stand and have a balance. Their lower limbs are just a starting development. Essentially, they use their upper limbs which are the arms they use by grasping and sucking a thing using their hands. In other words, infants have a strong control of their arms over their legs. So let's proceed to the proximal distal pattern. It is a prenatal growth from 5 months to birth when the fetus grows from the inside of the body outward. So this is a prenatal opposite to so the first pattern which is the postnatal. So the growth automatically starts in just a week. It is a little bit similar to the cephalocodal pattern, both start processing when the baby is still inside the womb. However, prenatal development starts with the fertilization, and germinal period to embryonic period, and continues the fetal period until birth. Even a single zygote, the combination of the sperm cell and the egg cell turns into embryo to fetus at the, birth, at the baby. In a simple words, the growth began before birth. The movement of the pattern starts from the center of the body towards the periphery. It means starting from the middle of the body 
develops proceeds toward the extremities. Extremities or periphery means the farthest point, which are the arms and the legs. As we know, the growth of proximal trend ends after birth, but there's an extension. It also applies in the first month after the birth, in the reason of maturity of muscular control of the trunk and the arms, followed by the hands and the fingers. For example, the hands and the feet develop before the fingers and the toes. This is pag mutubo ang unag mga fingers bisag wala pa hands. So, it is very impossible na may tabo na. It is very clear how this pattern works from the core of the body towards the extremities. Motor development refers to the development of motor skills from the center of the body outward. Infant have an ability to move around from the world itself, motor skills. It means movement. But the movement of the infant is limited because they have not enough force or strength to control their body. We all know even a fetus can move inside the womb. The fetus usually kicking. That's why motor development is included in proximal trend because it talks about movement. So now the part of the body is fully functional. Here's the difference between the two trends. So we are done in the two patterns. So let's proceed to the height and weight. But before I explain the concept of the height and weight, I want to share these some factors of, that can affect the height and weight of a baby. It may sound far from the main topic, but it is important to know these factors. Factors that affect the height and the weight of the baby. So first is the size of the parents. If the parents of the baby are tall and big, there's a possibility of a newborn baby can adopt their parents. On the other hand, if a parents are short and petite, the newborn baby also looks like their parents. So in Bisaya word, naliwatan or liwat, example, taas ko height, kaya naliwat, liwat ko sa papa na taas ko height. So munay, first reason, makapek sa height and weight sa baby. So the second is the multiple birth. If a baby has a twin and triplets or more, it might have a chance bigger the babies are little bit smaller because they share their growing space in the uterus. The third is the birth order. The first baby more likely smaller than the next baby. The reason for this, a mother is a first timer in terms of pregnancy. So the process is very fresh and, and new. That's why in the next birth, the baby is more heavier because the processor is already knows what the things to do. This is not only specified to the parents, but also in the part of the woman's productive system. The fourth is the mom's health during pregnancy. This is the very crucial to the mother when she is pregnant. What the mother habits during pregnancy, it will result in the newborn baby. If the mother is doing good, automatically the result is good. Same as doing wrong and bad. If a mother usually do bad habits, like smoking cigarette, drinking alcohol, and improper lifestyle, it will lead to the smaller baby and prone to have any type of disease. In other words, a baby is not healthy. So as well, being responsible mother during the pregnancy will end up having a heavier and healthy baby. So those are the some factors that affect the height of the weight of baby of the baby. Based on the book, here's the some statement about height and weight. So first, it is normal for a newborn babies to drop 5 to 10 percent of their body weight within a couple weeks of birth. That is due to the baby adjustment to the new natal feeding. Once they are just sucking, swallowing, and digesting, they grow rapidly. So it, it is very obvious the baby is new. The baby is not accustomed to the current environment because the baby is within the womb for 9 months and the way of providing food is very different. That's why they drop their weight up to 5 to 10 percent. However, if a baby adopted the new way of eating, they grow up quickly. So just like us, whenever we go in a place, in a new place that we are first timer, we need to adjust the way we live in order to survive. I will cite an example. So if I will go to America, and we all know Americans usually do not eat rice. As a Pinoy, that always make a meal with the rice. In Bisaya word, bahalag walay sudan, basta nay bugas. So, the question is, how can I survive? So, in the first place, my weight may gonna be less or may gonna be lost. 
But as times goes by, when I adapt the way they ate or the way or the way usually they ate or ano kung sa ilikaw nila, for sure my my weight will be back same as with the newborn's baby. Second, breastfeed babies are typically heavier than the bottle bed babies through the first six months. After six months, breastfeed babies usually weigh less than bottle fed babies. It is very important to perform breastfeeding for the first six months because the baby needs fresh and natural milk. That will help the baby heavier. Also, breastfeeding provides a lot of benefits. One of these is giving natural antibodies that will help to resist illnesses, such as air infection. The newborn baby shouldn't do bottle feed based on many doctors said. Bottle feed can be accepted after six months. By that, it can help it can be helpful to develop the new way of eating or feeding and to prepare for the upcoming solid foods. But let us not forget the good thing of the breastfeeding. It is a wonderful bonding for the mother and the baby. However, bottle feed also useful if a mother is not around. Anybody can take the place in order to, to feed the, the baby in with the bottle feed milk. Third, in general, an infant lens increased by about 30% in the first five months. So it is because they start growing, their muscles start flexing and activate. As I cited, it they gradually change throughout day by day. It is normal because the baby is alive. So fourth, a baby weight usually triples during the first year but slow down in the second year of life. In the first year of the baby, they just always laying on their bed. As I conclude, the difference between here in the second year, the baby usually makes more move. They develop their motor skills, which means they are already able to stand alone and walk. Speaking ability to walk, the infant term will change to toddlers. It may also lead them to Periodic eating habits, which means they eat irregularly because they always focus on what they do. We know babies are not conscious about their actions. As long they move around, make, make fun, and they forget to eat. The reason why in the second year, they slowly down their weight. So the last, low percentage are not cause of our alarms as long as infants progress along natural purpose training development. As a parent, it is not necessary to be panicked when the percentage of the growth of the infant becomes low. It is normal because the, of the delay due to the underlying health condition. Maybe the hormones are not fully active. Active. It is better to have a slow process than nothing. Furthermore, parents should be aware of the growth of their children. If there is a problem, observe first. But it is very obvious that the child did it grow up properly that the time will take an action so that would be all thank you for listening and watching bye bye